Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sun. Okay, so hold on. I don't know who this is for. This is a, uh, I was gonna do Pisces, but literally, and it could be Pisces because I've been doing Pisces, but I'ma just say, uh, good, wet, good witch practitioner. This is a message for you. So if you are a good witch practitioner and you see this, this message is for you. And if you know what I just went through for this message, I'm giving me this message for you. It was a lot. Okay, so um, a spell that you crafted, created. Um, it could be a freezer spell because I keep getting freezer spells. But it don't have to be necessarily. There's a spell that you have active working right now that has been creating um, some type of difficulty for you because it seems like the spell is not working. Um, and so the reason why is because they're saying that the spell has been tainted. If you look at it, something is different about it than it was when you actually created the spell. So you can tell that somebody has had their hands on it. Somebody touched it. Look at this. So also look at this is a mess. Okay, that's not how that should be. Okay. Either way, the spell is not the way it was that you created it. Somebody touched it and then they put it back as if, what is happening? Okay, so just like these cards, as you see, nothing is a coincidence. Everything is turning, flipping inside out and not doing what they should be doing. So it's like creating some type of wishy-washy energy because somebody touched it and now it is like feeling like it has you blocked out. Like um, you may have been thinking something was wrong with you. Meanwhile, or with your magic, that's not it. Somebody touched the spell. Somebody touched it. whatever you have in position. Somebody touched it. Um, also, there's a feeling of like hot, overly heated and sweating so that might be a sign for you as well but they're saying that your magic is blocked out or locked out because of the fact that somebody touched that spell and they were not supposed to they put it back as if it was never touched okay so let's see what else happens all right, first off, Voodoo Blue, starting right off, just like I said, um, back off. So you told somebody not to touch whatever this spell is that you created, whatever you crafted. Um, they didn't do that. So 22 being there, you know what it means for you. We got 22 and then 10, so a completion of a cycle. So a powerful energy shift. Once you fix that, spell they're basically oh they said that it was wrapped in something so the spell is actually binded and wrapped in something keep the keep the spell throw whatever you had on it away and redo that part and then it'll be fine it should work then the energy shall change um and this is not a person that was trying to hurt nobody or anything else so i if you over here you know demon hunting and all that other stuff um or acting like a demon doing stuff if i wasn't talking to you um ghost of the pumpkin patch count your blessings oh so something else happened like somebody tampering with something there was a nail like a nail stuck in your door a nail somewhere in your door like somebody like trying to put a the final nail in the coffin you're located it is there um, Alice, and, Alice and a sea of tears, cast out your death, feeling abandoned. You are not abandoned. This is a message for you. And this is specifically for you. Um, cause like I said, I just went through a lot for this thing. Um, your protection is up. Your protection is protecting. But the reason why the stuff is not working is because some extra hands been in the mix butterflies in gloom after sadness happiness and hope returns everything will adjust itself that's another 22 that card's 22 as well so um all these numbers seem to be doing a thing 22 10 1 11 22 and then 31 at the end so 1 1 1 22 11 
All right. Um, Once Upon a Midnight Jury, creative genius, writing, expression, and artistic flow. So somebody touching this is what actually made it, like, I guess so that it may have blocked your creativity, but also somebody sticking that nail or whatever this is around your house also created this issue. So you are now, once you find it, you should be released and everything should flow the way that it needs to. But it's almost like everything was canceling itself out or blocking itself out. And that's because of what I just said. So be patient. You were being patient. Anyway, you were trying to figure it out. So maybe you were just trying to wait it out and you were asking for a sign. So things are coming back into balance. And now you're getting clarity here with the Ace of Swords for it. Um, familiarity, happy memories, childhood memories, um, innocence, joy, and nostalgia. So things going back to the way that they you remember them of, you know, things flowing and things coming into alignment. Um, we have a Queen of Cups energy here. Very compassionate, very comforting, very calm. Um being open to receive the love and uh, emotions and feelings that you need that are surrounding you. And I'm going to give you one more card, but that was the message. Let me think, was there anything else? Your money and everything will flow the way that it needs to once you adjust the spell. So right now, whoever did that, once you free it is, if they've done it intentionally, because I feel like, whoever touched the spell did it unintentionally but whoever did the thing at your around your house did that intentionally so there could be two people here but anyway there's towers being experienced today because that that nail thing was a malicious act upon you so somebody's being dealt with for that but this is your message hopefully it helps thank you guys for coming like comment share subscribe and go with god